I'd like to help create a system so I can abandon it and it'll thrive without me. The systems in our built environment are completely dependent on people and continuous inputs and I find it draining. Whereas I can go out into the natural world and it's like, wow, I mean, look at what manifests, look at what grows from this. It's thriving just with what's freely at hand. And that's what really excites me. Hey, I'm Brad Lancaster. It's raining and I want to show you some water harvesting in action. Okay, boom. When I learned that more rain falls on the city of Tucson than the entire population consumes in a year, I thought, wow, it seems like we should be able to live off rainwater. We've been putting in um, a lot of before and after photos. So we're sequestering carbon, we're filtering contaminants off the streets, we're recharging the aquifer, we're growing food, medicine, wildlife habitat for free. Mr. Zephaniah Piri Maseko, the water farmer, was one of my main mentors. There was plenty of water flowing down. I then made a structure so that I could harness that water. He had abandoned his wells because the water level had risen to such an extent it came to the surface. Anywhere that you see water accumulating or lingering longer, all this life and potential is going to emerge from that. His message and what he's doing is so important to addressing and mitigating and adapting to the climate change that's going to hit Tucson. I mean, we're the third fastest warming city in the nation. One of my favorite things about Brad is his framework is abundance not scarcity. If you organize things right and you design them right, you will create abundance. It'll, it'll become self-perpetuating. Everything I do is really easy and it takes nothing higher tech than a shovel. That's not a problem. The difficult part is this requires a 180 degree shift in the way we see the world and think. That's the challenge.